What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John with the Gamer Dude here today with another special day, nonetheless, as we are continuing the Pokemon White 2 Randomizer Nest Log. I'm excited today as I'm not sure like how much we're gonna get done. We should get a lot done. So we and we get some encounters, we get a whole slew of things. And let's get going with this. So let's go. We got Chillin' the level 39 magma with the leftovers, blast burn, thunder, searing shot, and extra sensory. We've got Beegers with the shell bell, silver wind, thrash, heal order, and extra sensory. We got Jonas with cut, quiver dance, fly, and mega horn. We got Sog with curse, hex, shadow punch, and astonish. We've got Michael with aqua tail, brian, aqua wing, and water pulse. And we got Zoroark the Zoroark, because we can't name it, with faint, present, extrasensory, and soft boiled. Let's get into this episode. I am ready, and I hope you guys are as well. I think we have enough Pokeballs and stuff, but let me double check that fact for... Excuse me, let me double check that fact for us. Because I'm not 100% sure. I think we do, because I know we get some encounters. At least one today, if not more. So we got 13 Pokeballs and 24 Great Balls. We have uh, plenty. We got plenty. Good, 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 good. We take that. We take the fact that we have plenty. Oh. The rain makes me sad. Because it's raining outside right now. And I was I don't like it when it's like super rainy. Ooh, that's a Rotom. But that's not our encounter, unfortunately. I think we, we already got our encounter on this route. And fort, but I know we did. It's so weird to have it be raining in the game, which means I have to be careful because I'm leading with chillin'. I think that actually just tells me I should not be leading with chillin' and I rather should be leading with Michael. The The beauty of having a water type and a fire type is you can kind of take advantage of both of the weather effects in this game. So, but we are going to go get to, get to and to go through Charge Stone Gave together, I hope. That is the goal for today's episode. That might be a little bit of an overarching goal, but it just might happen. Miss Strevious is going to do absolutely nothing because it's Mistrevious, but we're going to pretend like it is the best Pokemon in existence as we are going to Aqua Tail it into Oblivion. Yeah, and so, oh, and a Feebass. <laughs> I love when we get to go against easy mons that don't actually have anything to worry about, and they don't, they don't scare us at all. It's, it's definitely beautiful if that's the case. You're not gonna lie. Definitely a beautiful thing when I don't have to be worried and threatened out by Pokemon. Dude, if we run into a shiny in today's episode, that would be wild. But I don't think we will. I don't... I'm just surprised... Like, I don't know. Today just feels like a day that a shiny would pop up. I don't know. You know, I don't know. You always have these preceding feelings and thoughts. And you're like, this is... Oh, that's why it feels weird because my shirt's backwards. It's like, this looks like an interesting scenario. And it's like, uh-huh. I'm just going to run. Can I do that? Ugh, Sky Drop won't let Michael go. Yay! I love the fact that we literally failed to. Aqua Tail should just. Yeah, I love the fact that we are a water type. I would, I would hope that I love the fact that we're a water type, um, because I'm not gonna change from being a water type unless it was an extreme randomizer, but. As we all know, it is not that, so. I don't even know what we're going to do in today's episode. Like, I already explained it, but, like, I guess in my head, I don't know. Like, there's so many uncertainties for this episode, I don't even. Like, we can go into all of them, but it would be pointless to go in. Oh, we get, oh. We get. I don't want to leave one of my party members behind, though, but I guess, actually, I don't feel bad because I feel like the Zoroark was not randomized. And, like, like it was supposed to be. Because it was supposed to be randomized. 
Oh, shoot. I did a dumb. Yeah, I did a dumb. Darn it. I saw the item thingy and I went... I went, ooh, let's get the item without really even thinking about the consequences of getting set item. Okay. Because I saw that. Parasol Lady sends out a Granbull. Okay, Parasol Lady. That's nothing too terrible. As long as they can keep giving feeding us these kind of mons, I won't be scared necessarily. But we all know that this could be eight times more difficult <laughs> in a heartbeat because that's the beauty of randomizers. Wow, you lived on like very red. Oh god, hyper voice sounded so weird. Um, but I gotta love protect because it is the best move. It's a good use for stall, baby. Yes, it is. I love stall. Actually, that's a lot. I said that sarcastically, but I actually like using stall. Um, ooh, Michael, you're learning a move? A barrage. Are you kidding me? That's a trash move. Like, you can't... Nobody can learn any good moves in it. So sad. Um, yeah, nope. It's in an area I cannot access. I need research. I need to research how people gain experience. Okay, you can do that, lady. You can research that. I don't care. I'm just gonna be the one getting the experience. Is that okay, lady? As long as that's okay, that's what's gonna happen. Um. I don't know why I just clicked Brian, but I totally did. Um, Gardevoir or Gardevoir is gonna do absolutely facade. No, 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 no. Let's not get hit with that kind of stuff. Probably. Preferably. Yeah, but okay. But that is one point. Like, okay, so Beakers and I were talking about how my team is very, very sweeper. And there's, I got no uh, hardy defensive mon, and that's a problem. Because I, I play so defensively, and my play style is so defensively, or so defensive in this kind of games. And just Pokemon in general, I'm a very, I play. Calm, cool, and collected. And so not being able to be that and having to be that driving force is hard. Like, I just... I... I just naturally don't like to <laughs> do that. So it's weird that that is the way that my team's play style kind of cracked up to be. Um... So, we definitely, that's, if we're talking about a bond that I would like, I would 100%, would 1,000, actually 1,000%, be happy if we could get, like, a bulky, bulky mon upgrade. Ah, oh, that's for Porygon. I knew that was coming. I knew that was happening. I knew it was a fungus, but I still was like, oh, well, let's click on this. It might be a Pokemon. No, it's not, John, and you knew it. That's why you avoided it and went down in the first place. But let's let's pretend like you definitely didn't know. Oh, wait. Okay. First, okay. This I just had flashbacks from Pokemon Black. I'm sorry. I forgot Charon is not actually a rifle. <gasps> yeah! I didn't know you gave me Surf. I can't use it yet, though, can I? Or can I? Let's answer that question real quick. I know I can use it in battle, so we're definitely going to utilize it. Who can learn it? That's the real question. Uh, looks like Michael is the only one, but that is totally fine with me because that will allow us to get rid of Water Pulse. Now, to find out whether or not... Oh, jeez. I don't... I walked right in front of him, too, like a dummy. It's like, let me walk right in front of the scientist that for sure... Oh, Lipards are scary. That for sure is gonna want to battle me. 
good job, John. That, that's all I have to say. Is it still raining? Fantastic. I should probably heal Michael. Yeah, I should probably heal Michael if this does not kill. It should, though. It's a life hard. Yeah. Because that, my friends, was a trainer that killed three mons in my Pokemon Black Randomizer Nuzlocke. Killed Daisy the Knocked Owl. It kill I have a grudge against that person. He killed Daisy. He killed Bree. He killed some top tier. I would just want to stop running into them, but I just am failing miserably every time. Um, but yeah, or was it her? It might have been her. I think it was. I think it was him though that killed it. I swear it was the guy that killed my mods. He definitely. They, he they definitely killed Daisy and Bree. Daisy the Knocked Owl was a mon that I could loved so dearly. Does that increase special attack or special defense? Special attack. Perfect. That's what I thought. But I wanted to make sure. As on Pheasant is d -d -d dead. Rhyhorn? Well, Rhyhorn is going to get d -d -d dead as well because Rhyhorn does, does not pose a threat at all to my water type in the rain. Um, because you don't got sturdy, yeah. I that's what I thought. Okay, dude, Michael's just gonna be Michael's gonna get to level forty in this episode. Just we can just uh, accept that 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 is kind of his fate that he will be to level forty. Um, especially if we do charge stone cave. But, uh, because we're right next to a healing spot. Max Repel. Actually, that's useful. I might actually, like, put that on, like, almost nearly immediately. Actually, I will put that on. If... It does not look like... Hold on. Oh, that's a different sound. Oh. I thought it was a different sound for like a good reason, not that it was eradicate. I was hoping for like something better, honestly. Dang it. Dude, I want the Pokemon. Or the um not the Pokemon, the uh, items. And so I keep reaching for them, and then they're not actually items, they're fungus. I remember that being so annoying in my original playthrough of Pokemon. Um, was just the constants of that. Because, yeah, that's another one. Because there's no, absolutely no way to tell. Which is, I guess, part of their story anyway. But it's so annoying. It's like, can I just catch the poke or get the Pokemon that I want? like, Or the items that I want and just... Without looking up a guide, like, just have a way to tell. But there's not. And there will never be. Which is the sad inevitability of this. But we live with it because we have to. And simple as that. Um, I think, actually, we do get a cutscene. If I don't run into Pokemon every five seconds, we will get a cutscene of Rizion, I believe. I may be wrong. But in my head, Verizion comes out here. Yep, ha ha ha, I remembered. That's not Verizion, though. That's Cobalion. <laughs> close enough. Close enough. I'm just going to say close enough. Oh my gosh. I don't want to talk to you guys. I legit don't care about them. <gasps> Michael, can you surf outside of battle right now? Oh, frick yeah. Let's go. Oh, dang. We have two of them. I did not realize we had two of them. 
But I'm so happy. <coughs> Aqua Ring. That's a terrible TM. But we live with it. Okay, Mistralton Cave. That's a little... Okay, so these give you the gems like normal, but to wait for my repel to expire because I used way too big of a repel. But that's okay. Yeah, we don't have strength yet. We have to come back when we can utilize strength because we don't have that at the moment. We don't have that ability... Oh my gosh, can we just repel wear off, please? No, let's not use another. Our encounter for Mr. Alton Cave, as I... <laughs> naturally. John John gets the encounter for Mr. Alton Cave is... John walks out of the cave. Good job. That's only natural. There we go. Our encounter for the cave... I will take that. Lucario is another sweeper, though. So that is another... That's another unfortunate... But... We can live with it. Um, first off, let's go ahead and heal with one of our many, many hyper potions because we have 30 of them. Um, I said that like so aggressively, like that was a bad thing. Iron Tail, oh boy. So, the move I'm going to go ahead and use is Brine. That is my least powerful move. Nice, okay. That's exactly what I wanted. And then I'm gonna Aqua Ring so I can just heal up. I wish, imagine if I had Leftovers. I could put Leftovers on Michael. That actually might be a positive reinforcement for him. We have 20 Ultra Balls too. I didn't even know we had Ultra Balls. So, yeah, we had way more than enough to catch Pokemon. Um. Darn. Mirror shot, that's special. That's fine. I would love to catch Lucario in like a great ball. That would be That would be amazing if I could. Um knowing that you have sleep talk, I don't necessarily want to put you to sleep. Um, but I don't have any method of catching anyway. Yeah! Got it in a great ball. Exactly the way I wanted it. And you're level 29, Tabu. Like, you are not a low-level Pokemon. And we're going to name this Blue. After Super Saiyan Blue Lucario, if you guys know who he is, go ahead and at him and tell him he has a Pokemon on the squad. Because he needs to know. He needs to know that he has a Pokemon on the squad. Um, Okay, can't get that hidden item, even though it's going to bother the bejeebies out of me. We're going to have to live with it. Um, live with the sad inevitability that I cannot do that. Um, what was in the water? Primplop. That would have been pretty. I would have been down for that. And then we can go up here. And this is the house that I can get free healing from, I believe. Somebody does it. I remember this part, which is good because... Wait. Ah. Uh. Ah, oh. oh, shiny stone. That's another evolution item that I don't need. I literally have, like, most of them that I don't actually need, and I... Which is kind of... That's the sad thing. Oh. Comet shard. I actually don't know what that does. That is an item in Pokemon that I have no clue what it does. Charge a stone cave. Is this part of it? Nope, that becomes route six. Okay, so charge stone cave. We're gonna get our encounter here. Continue walking through. Don't care, don't care, don't care. I love I love my philosophy with Bianca. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Our charge stone cave encounter. <gasps> it's a cipher! It's a cipher! 
cipher. It's a cipher. It's a cipher. I need to catch it. It's cipher. It's cipher. Oh my god. I was waiting uh, for the time that we were going to get a cipher, and it has this hidden ability. Let's go! Um, we take that. Oh my gosh, we stand that. Um... Oh, it's a cipher! Yes! Uh, I didn't ask Google a question real quick. I think it's level 55 is the answer to the question that I'm looking for. But let me double check. When does Fracture evolve into Haxorus? I got the answer, but I wanted to say it. I got the answer, but I want it to say it. When does Fracture evolve into Haxorus? According to Bulbapedia, Bulbagarden, it evolves from Axew starting at level 38 and evolves into Haxorus starting at level 48. So, level 38 is when we have to get this thing to a Fracture, which is beautiful because that's where we're at in the game. Yeah. I love Haxorus. I love Haxorus. I love Haxorus. Yes, I do. Um, I better not mess up because I feel like I might. That's just, it's resisted. Are you? Are you kidding me? All I'm going to say is that crit mattered. All I'm going to say is that fucking crit mattered. I hate my life sometimes when it comes to Pokemon. I will literally calc it off video and show you how bad that crit mattered. If we wouldn't have gotten a crit. Hey, I mean, maybe we can find a shiny one up here, but that's... Mm. I love shiny Haxorus. So... Well, maybe we can be redeemed, but... A bur oh, that's not what I was hoping for. I was like, oh, I got a burn drive. It's the Magmarizer is what I'm looking for. I'm so upset. I am so upset. I get that I was 12 levels above. I really do. But I am a physical attacker. And I used a move that's Trash Ardo. And I'm not in the rain anymore. Sturdy? No. Yeah, okay. I was like, I was like I, there's no. Oh, wow. Head Smash would have killed anyway. Like, I literally was praising the fact. Mmm. For alligator, that's a good mon too. Oh my gosh. Focus Ash. That would be great, actually. That actually that actually might be great, because that would prevent me from getting O code by something stupid. That which I know could happen. I know. But that has the ability of happening. Jeez, jeez, Louisa. Oh, it's not gonna... Dang it. There we go. The stone plate. Well, I've already got that plate. I guess I did have this the incense, so that I did not have going for me. Crap, am I going the right way? Oh my god, there was Papa's here too. 
Some papas fritas. Definitely. Um, dude, fried try sound amazing. Um, what am I doing? I go up here and down and up. Oh, 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 oh. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Um, I don't know why my brain just decided to stop working, because that's a shedinja. Um, that has Wonder Guard for sure. Wait, duh, I didn't randomize the abilities. So that that wasn't even... I don't, I don't understand the commentary. Yeah? What's going on? Okay, so we're back. We're doing it. We're chilling. We're having a good time. We're out here. Um, we we're fighting Roselia, which is kind of an impromptu, scary scenario. Um, which is fine. I think we can go into uh, chilling because chilling was level thirty nine. I didn't even realize chilling was level thirty nine until legit. I remember talking about it in team recap as I'm literally hovering over him in my OBS naturally. Oh, you had. Oh, you were using acid. I would have stayed in if I knew that. I mean, I guess I would never have known that because I did that my first thing. But, dang it! That would have been great. Oh, wait. Is this a... I have no idea if this was a trainer or not. We'll find... Ah, oh, the Wild Rosalia. Darn it! I was hoping that it was a trainer, but... Oh, I was getting this item. Okay, I forgot what I was doing. Another Everstone. Great! I love Everstones. They're the best. Did you know that Everstones... Oh, wait. Over, down. I hate the preciseness of Charge Stone Cave. Now, mind you, I've always been a... I don't really care about preciseness challenges, but it's like, ah, oh, can we not have a precise challenge? Like, it's like, I get it. I get the fact that we have to be on that tile, but like, it's a, pu and it's a puzzle, and it's Charge Stone Cave, and it's meant to be that way, but still. Like, sometimes I'm like, oh my god, I dread this puzzle because of it. Um, like, that's why, not gonna lie, that's why I kind of wanted to get this done in the one episode. So that I just could be done and over with it, because it's charge stone, okay? Um, okay, down, over. I want to get the items in here, of course, because the items in here tend to be pretty good. But, oh my gosh, Really? But, like, the, I have a max repel, and I'm going to use it, actually. Yeah. I know that will suck, and it's actually probably... I know a lot of people will be like, why are you using your max repel? But it's because I hate the amount of encounters that are in here. And I could very much use the time crunch statistic. Because I have... 20 minutes before I have to leave for work. Shadow Triad time. I love the Shadow Triad. They're the best. They're Oh, wait. Oh, I don't get to see them. That's actually... I'm actually totally fine with that. Not going to lie. But... Let's see. We got an Ace Trainer who has... Oh, it's a triple battle ace trainer. Uh-oh. Yeah, two skitties. What? Wow. This guy's two skitties. Dot the chances of that though. Oh wait, can I just surf them all? Surf will hit Beegers too, but that's okay. Because theoretically we can get rid of the knocked owl. And if we can get rid of the knocked owls, even though I just used the mega horn on it. Like a big Ophies. Um, dang! I forget how freaking tough Knocked Owl is. Holy cow! This shouldn't do a lot. Yeah! There's the skitties gone. I forgot how tough Knocked Owl was. Michael, use. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Aqua ring, I guess. And then Beegers, you can use Thrash. 
Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Why did it have me select myself on that? I'm gonna fly. Oh, I love Protect. It is my favorite move ever, by the way. <sighs> okay, Jonas is gonna fly in the air. Hopefully not. Yeah, okay. We're good. We're good. We're okay. We got rid of the no the, the thick Knocked Owl. I think that's why I remember liking Knocked Owls, because of how good of a mod it actually is. 2280. Like, it's not great competitively, but if we're looking at via in game basis, then there's definitely a top mon there. Okay, first off, I oofed that. I needed to fix that very quickly. I know that I wasted repel steps, but it could have been that magmarizer I was waiting for. It wasn't, but it could have been. And we would have never known that if we didn't try. Ah, I'm the Nugget Man. Thanks for giving me a nugget. I actually appreciate that. Nuggets are... Oh, two different things. A nugget and a big nugget. Oh, oh. Dang it. That's fine. Where the heck did this lead me? Uh-oh. I don't know where this led me. Um. Definitely not the place I need to be, though, I don't think. A drift loon. Ba loon! Ba -da 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 -da. Oh my gosh. They are heavily rising in level, which is, um... Not super exciting. <laughs> I hate I hate to say it that way, but it's not super exciting to have to worry about the fact that they're on par. And they're about to start having forcefully evolved mons. I think that's the scarier... I guess the scarier notion on that is that it is about to be forcefully evolved. Oh, great. We got paralyzed. Oh, my... I just don't know what to do. I don't know how to feel in that regard. Oh, that's for rest. Resto chesto. And the power anklet. Oh, we are just not getting what we want. And then we're back to having encounters, which is every five steps, which is the best. And not knowing exactly where I'm at in Charge Stone Cave does not help. Because that just... I'll try it, but this doesn't seem like the right area. Like, it, feel, it feels wrong, therefore it is wrong, you know? I feel like that was literally only there for the hidden item. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was. That was all the way back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy. That makes me the happiest camper in the entire universe. I'm so happy that I have to go all the way back through Chargestone Cave because I went down that. Oh, great. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe I just did that. I need a shiny for all this work that I've been put through. Oh, God. Not a shiny Krikatot. <laughs> Anything but that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, I am a little upset. Clearly. Because I have to go through an area that I didn't necessarily...
didn't necessarily want to go through that. And now we're stuck having to go through it again. Literally put a rappel on for a time crunch. And what do I manage to do? Find a way to loop all the way around Charge Zone Cave. That's only, that's natural. That is a very natural John thing to do. <laughs> not gonna lie. Uh, I'm so glad I'm not sleepwalking this because I think I'd be a thousand times more aggravated in that scenario. So let's be glad I'm not sleepwalking. Luckily, that does mean I know exactly where I need to go. And it's a good thing. That's where I presumed I needed to go first, but I was like, oh, free path. So let's check it out. Never trust free paths. Free paths are bad paths. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, you're yelling at me about something that's up here. We can find out what's down here now, though. That's cool. Oh, Gliscor! You know who had a shiny Gliscor in, uh... Pokemon Black 2? <laughs> this guy... I mean, that would be freaking hilarious. If... Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. What was I unaffected by? Also, that's... It's scary when Pokemon tells you you're unaffected by something. Dude, Gliscor is not that hard to run away from. Michael! Jesus. Uh, can we... Can we find a way to run away from this thing, please? Jeez. Michael. Camouflage into a what? A rock type. Okay. I'm gonna have to use my Paralyze Heal, because if I don't, then I'll be just mad at myself. Now I can run away and be fine. Thank you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that would have been... That was so annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna admit that. That was annoying. I feel like Shiny Crest was blue. I know we're talking about Shinies a lot in this episode, but that's because I am prospecting a Shiny at some point in our future. Um, I just... I feel it happening, you know? I just... I know in my heart that we can get one. And if it is in today's episode, great. This would be the. This feels like the ominous, like place, and it has the ambience for this. Choice band. Oh, oh, oh! Wait a second. That is a very positive thing. That is a massively positive thing for Huntail. We can get Huntail some better physical moves. On that ball. Okay, that's pointless, but okay, we'll live with it. We're gonna avoid that doctor because we can. Ah, right, there's Bianca. See? That's literally all we need to do. I like how we had Unpheasant and Tranquil in this area. Oh, well. That's fine. That's okay. We we live. We find a way to live with it. What do you send out? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shoot. I, why am I complaining? I literally have a Magmar. I'm, I, I think I'm complaining because I'm so used to not having the answer for Shininja when it pops up. And in this playthrough, I've got like one, two, three. I got four. Uh, literally the only mod I wasn't the only one I was in didn't have the answer. That's it. Every other mod had an answer, so I don't know why I was like, oh no, this is not a good scenario. It's like I love you, John, but you're totally okay. Um Daru Maka. Now we can switch right back into Michael, because Michael has the answer for that one. But no. So with the choice band though, like choice band and aqua tails would be great. Just means that it would not be able to be my Pokemon of choice when we are getting encounters. Which we will be getting a few in next episode. So I will have to keep that in mind. For 
the episode at hand tomorrow. Oh, Musharna. I love Musharna. But yeah, so, I guess on that note, just trying to get the item. The choice specs! The other choice item! Yeah! I am down. Choice specs. We love them choice specs. Ch like, Magmar or Chillin could really benefit from the choice specs. Because we don't have anything for Beagers to really constitute the choice specs at this point. But Magmar would be a great choice specs user. I mean, it legit... It is a choice specs user. Oh. It is a choice specs user, though, in the metagame anyway. Which I think makes it just that much better that we could use it that way. So... Items and configurations of these mods will definitely change at the beginning of the next episode. Um, it just... And, I think it'll be Huntail will get the choice band so that we could honestly punish with choice band Aquatail. And then Magmar will get the choice specs. I know that for sure. I, I know choice specs is going to go to Magmar. The, I guess the only thing that I have uncertainties with when it comes to giving the choice band to Michael is the fact that if I miss Aquatail, it would hurt. But that seems to be the only drawback of doing it. So it's like, why do something when the drawback is literally nothing? Okay, I said I was getting Michael to level 40 in this episode. We are literally... Oh. I love how stupid that can be sometimes. It's like, we're going to get Michael to level 40 in this episode. Tries to attack a Wonder Guard Pokemon with a not super effective move. When you literally were talking about the fact that you had literally four hard counters for them on. That's just, again, me in a nutshell. Okay, we're not getting him to level 40 in this mod because it took him forever. It took us forever to even... Tr oh, well, I initiated a cutscene. Oh, shoot, she gives me a Master Ball. I forgot she gave it to me that early. Okay. What does Skylar want? Skylar will just tell me directly. Oh! Did Pokemon just give us a split off of events that we can do? Or do I ha Is this the first time they've given us a split event? Because she said she's fine either way. Like, we could challenge her if we wanted to. Or we could do the tower if we wanted to. Which, honestly, the true answer is we're going to do the tower. Because... We get one... Eight, two encounters... And then we get to ring the bell, and then we go down to talk to her. In the next episode, we will be doing that. And then, oh my god, I'm yawning. I'm so tired. Anyway, love you all. Peace.